Let's start with position. Every vowel sound has a different shape of the mouth. We move three things to make the shape. The tongue, the jaw, and the lips. And of these, by far the most important is the tongue. Essentially, the tongue goes forwards and backwards as we speak. If it's forwards, an example would be e. If it's back, o. Just take a moment to feel the difference. e, o. Using just those two positions is fine if you're a donkey. e, o. But we need a few more in order to speak English. So if you stop halfway between e and o, you get to e. Once again, e. Uh, or. And so now we've got a central sound in between. So now we've established the front, centre, and back sounds, let's add another variable space. This is how open the mouth or jaw is when we create the vowel sound. So English has five front vowels, and we're going to go from close to open at the front. So E, beat, I, bit, e, bet, air, bear, ah, bat. Notice we're increasing the space each time there. Now let's do the central vowels. We have five of those. Oo, boot, u, uh, better, er, uh, bird, ah. Uh, bud, ah, bard. And we have three back vowels, and we'll notice the lips rounding a bit as we go to the back. U, uh, book, or, board, o, uh, bot. So those are the 13 monophthongs of GB English. These are single positions of the mouth. We also have diphthongs. These are sounds that move from one position to another. Ear, beard, a, bait, ow, about, o, boat, i, bite, oi, boy. And there's another diphthong, ua, boa, but this isn't really used these days. The monophthong or is preferred, so bore, 